it do see something do this. It's your boy Wild Gym Blog TV coming straight out of Cincinnati, Ohio. Now I'm going to talk about the NFC East. RG3 looks like the tilt the balance of power in the NFC East. You know, with him coming to Washington and with them having adding the key receiver in Garcon, I feel like this team can be a lot better than what people think. RG3, he had a hell of a good preseason. Could he beat Andrew Luck out in the season? I don't know, but it's not about that right now. I think RG3 is going to make this team a little bit better. They're going to be high-powered on offense, I believe, in my eyes, and we just have to see how things go. Now, defending Super Bowl champion New York Giants have plenty to deal with. They lost Manningham to the 49ers. I, I don't know why they didn't bring him back. It, that was just stupid in my eyes. They should have brought the dude back. Um, they lost um, Brandon Jacobs which is a, a, a key loss because he was that power running back for you. But the good thing about the New York Giants is they have a great, great defense. And if, if they don't have the best corners or whatever, they do have one of the best defensive lines in the game. These guys are called the Nash Call Packages for a reason. These guys get at the ball. They get at the quarterback. They are a great, fast defense. And also, you have a great quarterback in Eli Manning. Some think he's elite. Some think he's not elite. I think, honestly, the dude is elite. I mean, and it's not because he, you know, he won two Super Bowls, but it's just the the, the the fourth quarter comeback that he has had over his career is just amazing. And he's a, you know, he takes chances a lot, you know. But at the end of the day, when he's on, he's on point. Um, the Eagles and Cowboys, they still are talented. They have one of the best talented team, the two of the best talented teams in the NFL. But you know, sometimes talent don't necessarily mean you're going to win anything. We've seen this happen plenty of times, all the time. It happens a lot. You have to still get on the field and perform. Now, the good thing I can say about the new, uh, the Dallas Cowboys, they have a great defense. You know, their defense is pretty good. You have the leader in DeMarco Ware, which is a great, great pass rusher tackler. Can do it all. The sack master. And on the um, offensive side of the ball, Romo is good. They have a nice core wide receivers. Um, they have a great, great team. Honestly, if you look at them on paper, they have a great team. Now, can they get over the hump? Who knows? We have to see. Now, my Philadelphia Eagles, they have a lot of things to work out with. They ended the season well, winning four straight games. But the main, main thing is, can Michael Vick stay healthy? Can these guys protect Michael Vick from getting hurt and beat and bruised? Because if they can protect him, oh, sky's the limit for this team. They have a talented defense. They have D'Amico Ryans added. They have a, a great, in my eyes, they have one of the, they should be like a top 10 defense, honestly. They should be. So, like I said, they should be a top 10 defense. You know, this team has all the talent in the world, but who knows what's going to happen. Um, the X Factors, like I said, are Michael Vick and Deshaun Jackson. These two can connect well. This team is going to be something very, very scary to watch. But these are my predictions. I have the Eagles going 10-6, and six, the Giants going 10-6, and six, Cowboys 9-7, and seven, and the Redskins 7-9. and nine. Yes, the Washington Redskins 7-9. and Y'all know what to do. Comment, subscribe, favorite. Tell me what y'all think about these predictions. You know, tell me what you guys think is going to happen. Y'all know how to get at me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, all that good stuff.